Wire in Water. Henrik Gorecki, 1933 to 2010. Symphony number no. three. I wasn't sleeping. Love's anthem buzzed tiny transistor to wire's end. Through the bud in my ear, on the pillow, into my head. They couldn't tell. The kid was listening to the rhythm and blues, the AM answer to the wordless question humming everywhere. The mid-century's Cold War sentence, the nuclear test thuds its punctuation, the sorrow soaked into the ashen front page pulp where the broken black print struts stood embedded like ruins, the remains of mad righteousness. The silenced millions bone splinters spelling the message, Europe's busted plumbing filling the tributaries of the single swollen reservoir where all hopes sorrows collect. In my ear was the one bright thread strung through the living and the dead, its light the beam of an undermoon, that shimmering wire through the flesh-salted water where the slaves and soldiers flail and drown from the shoals of the old oaths out to the depths where the warlords wrecked ships hold their bottles of claret, chests of silver and gold, crosses, stars, swastikas, shreds of the riddled skins of sailors and pilots. By that wire of light, the sound travels the water, sings what's happened. Gorecki's lost his mother, he's two. Then he isn't permitted to play her piano. He falls, his hip turns to burglar. He never walks well again, remains in Poland, talks with death often. I hadn't heard his sacred minimalism. I listened to innocent songs in the world filled with the doo-wop a wet-eyed kid hears in his car as he cruises back home through the bulb-studded bruise of the night. The charcoal smudge of the night his girl chooses another thrill. But the minor refrains in the studio strings traveled the same wet wire. I heard him later, scintillating the walls of the cells where the nomads are held, where the prayer, that folk song, ballad of a child far from her mother, whispers its echo like rain on mud, like chain on bone like brushes on snare in a cabaret somewhere down the Danube, against the walls where the selected and hunted women and men are lined up, the wall the commandant leans against to sip his confiscated port and smoke his Turkish cigarette and listens to a boy in stripes play a dead man's clarinet where the shivering suspects press their heads to the concrete and privately plead innocent to the walls where soft sparks appear in the dark to the song of a spoon being sharpened against the stone to carve the prayer, the quiet, scraped cry for forgiveness, that music along prayer's wire through the water where all hopes, sorrows collect, where it's ever one prisoner in the dark who hears the surf of invisible violins. The burned girl in her hospital bed smiles, her eyes tide pools again to hear the symphony of sorrowful songs. Gorecki is dead.